The city of Sioux Falls is continuing to look at improving transportation options. SAM On Demand launched in full last month. At the same time, officials also looked at potential changes to bus routes. Cooper Seamer joins us with a first alert update tonight. Cooper. Andrea, part of Sioux Area Metro's new plan since VIA took over at the beginning of the year has been to increase access and speed for public transit. Access has been helped by SAM On Demand, and the city's bus routes are the next step to a refresh to help speed them up. Well into his second term, Mayor Paul Tenaken has referred to public transportation as a wicked problem, meaning it's an issue that's near impossible to solve and there will always be someone upset with how things are. But in the nearly nine months since VIA took over as the Sioux Area Metro operator, he's seen a massive improvement. This is the first time really in my six and a half years in office that I have optimism on the future of public transit here. You know, we've innovated and we've changed things in a way we've never seen in Sioux Falls. After launching SAM On Demand citywide this summer, the company aimed to change the city's fixed bus routes as well. The operations director, Emily Shapiro, says those changes would aim to make it easier for riders to get from point to point and faster. Being able to change the bus routes, make the bus routes more efficient, more direct, and um, more frequent what is what allows us to have an on-demand program that's sustainable because it allows you to take on-demand to and from those very direct, very frequent bus routes. To do that, the old 12 routes are now nine. Those extra buses allow more frequent service in the most high demand areas, while SAM on demand fills in the gaps to help connect riders to those new routes if needed. That focus on speed is meant to help current riders save time and also attract new riders. That was really the focus of those uh, captive riders that needed to use public transit, but then it makes it pretty unattractive for someone that might be choosing public transit or some sort of private mode of transportation. Ten Haken says public transit will still be a wicked problem, but he's confident moving forward. We got a lot to learn. We're never going to be able to just spike the football and say, oh, solve transit, now on to the next thing. Uh, we'll continue to work on it, innovate, make changes, but today is a great new chapter for transit. Shapiro says while these changes have come quick, that doesn't mean they're set in stone just yet. She says VIA will continue to evaluate the new routes and SAM on demand service to see if future changes are needed. That includes paratransit service as well, which they're keeping an eye on.